So simplifying ratios with fractions and decimals. Now I know that everyone hates fractions, but um, with practice, you'll learn how to do them, okay? So with question one, here we've got fractions in a ratio, right? We've got three fifths to two thirds, and we wanna simplify that, okay? And the first, the way that we do it actually is to find a common multiple of three and five, right? Because we want full numbers, okay? So what is that number? Well, we can say that it's actually 15, right? So what we can do is times 15 to here and to here, like that. So it's 3 fifths times 15, 2, 2 thirds times 15. And now it's just cancelling them out, okay? So we can cancel out 5, and then how many 5s in 15? That's 3, right? So we want to cancel it on this side as well, okay, top and bottom. We can cancel 3 divided by 3 is 1, so that leaves it. 15 divided by 3, and that's 5. So then we can just see it is 3 times 3, 2, 2 times 2, uh, sorry, 2, 5. So then the simplified uh, ratio is just 9 to 10, okay? All right, so let's just do another one to get used to it, okay? So we can also say uh, we want to simplify 2 thirds to 5 over 12, right? Again, find the common multiple of 3 and 12, okay? So we can say it's 12, right? Because 12 times 1 is 12, 3 times what equals 12? So we have to times it by 12 on both sides, right? So 2 thirds times 12, 2 5 twelves times 12. We can cross this out. 3 divided by 3 is, one, is gone. 12 divided by 3, and that's 4. And then we can cross out here as well. 12 and 12, because they're the same. They're both divisible by 12, so it's 1 and 1. You just leave it. That, comes, that becomes 2 times 5 to 5, and that's 8 to 5. That's a simplified ratio, right? So let's try again, let's do question three. Okay, so we have five eighths to one twelfth. So we wanna simplify that. So what is the smallest common multiple of the denom denominators? Okay, the answer is 24, right? So we can times it by 24. Again, five eighths times 24, one twelfth times 24. What you do to one side, you gotta do it to the other. So we can cross that out and then 24 divided by eight, that's three. One twelfths, cross that out, 24 divided by 12, and that's two, okay? So we can say five to three times three, that's 15, two, two. Okay, that's how we do the simplified um, to a ratio. Okay, so let's try question four. Simplify 0 0.8 to 0 0.05. Okay, now we have decimals. And it looks a bit tricky, but what we can do is put a whole number, um, make it a whole number, I mean, okay? So we can times it not by 10 because that's still a decimal, so it's 100, okay? So we can say 0 0.8 times 100 to 0 0.05 times 100, all right? So that's 80 to 5. We're not quite there yet. You can still simplify it, okay? So we can simplify, they're both divisible by five, right? So we do that, and that's 16. Five divided by five is one. So we can say it as 16 to one, all right? Okay, let's try another one. In question five, simplify 3.6 to 4.5. Again, it's a decimal, and we wanna make it whole. So we can do times it by 10, yeah? 3.6 times 10 to 4.5 times 10. So that's 36 to 45. Again, what number can be divisible by these two, right? Nine. So with nine, you cross that out. 36 divided by nine is four. 45 divided by nine, and that's five. So the simplified ratio is just 4.5, okay? So are we getting it?
Good, so we can do question six. Let's move on. Simplify six to 0 0.5. Again, we wanna get a whole number there because it's a decimal. We can, uh, we can multiply each side by 10. So six times 10 is 0 0.5 times 10. Okay, so it's 60 to five. Again, we need to simplify that further. These two numbers, they can be divisible by five. So if we cross that out, we simplify that. That's 12, five, and that's one, 12 to one. So that's the final answer. Okay, and that's how we simplify ratios.